Welcome to another edition of Razor's Edge for Rookies. Today's tip is going to be how to fix addresses in your database. Now, if you're like most organizations, you probably send mail. And often, if you have an address that, for instance, is too long, what you'll end up doing is be unable to print an address on a label, and sometimes it won't fit in the window of a number 10 envelope. But rest assured, there's a quick way to fix this. So in the event that you do have people that have, say, like this person, Boulevard spelled out or Post Office Box spelled out, and you want to make it condensed and make it abbreviated, there's an easy way to do it with a feature called a partial change. And now what I'm going to do is walk you through that now. So the way to begin is to actually create a query of the records that you're trying to fix. So in my case, what I did is I made an address fix query, very simple. The criteria says preferred address line contains post office box or boulevard. You see how I have it there. Once I have the query saved, now I'm able to go do the global change. Now the way this is done is in the admin module on the left hand side. When you click admin, you'll see an option that says global change records. When you click that, you'd highlight constituent. Any address change is a constituent change. And we're going to go create a new change. And from here, uh, you'll select the query that you're trying to fix, and there it is on the top, address fix. And then you're going to make the changes that you want to do. So you'll notice here on the left-hand side where it says address lines. Now, if I bring address lines over by this, using the select button, you can double click it also or drag it. You'll have a few operations here. You'll see add, replace, partial replace, or delete. These other ones are sort of dangerous to do. I don't, I'd recommend try not to use those at all, but this one is the one that is really helpful, this partial replace. And what we'll do is use those two examples. So I'm going to say post office box, and I'm going to just change it with PO box. Now I don't really have to change the word box at all, but I'm just doing it for this purpose. And you don't need to worry about the case or pattern matching. Just say OK. The create control port which is only for your use. In this case, I'm not going to use it for this demonstration, but when you say change now, it'll change the data. And then if I go back to the same criteria, I can replace Boulevard with its abbreviated version. All right, I'll do the same thing. Say change now. So that's it in a nutshell. I hope that helped, and for all your training needs, check us out at RazorsEdgeForRookies.com, and have a great day.